Hi folks, welcome to the a new episode of the, the new NYC CNC. This is uh, the new home that my wife and I just moved into and I'm going to have the basement for my workshop sans the washer dryer over here which I will happily share uh, with my wife. But uh, I've got a nice hopper sink to start which is great. Um, and then as you can see this place is, you know, I just moved in yesterday and it's a mess but I wanted to show it to you in the raw form so that hopefully you can share in the experience of getting this organized and moved into a shop. As you can see, I've got my Atlas mill right here in the, against the wall and Herbie's there up against that wall. Um, no, not much new equipment except I got a second drill press, which will be great. I think I'm going to leave that to be a dedicated tapping drill with a Procunior tapping head and uh, not much else, but really looking forward to having this space. It's approximately 550 square feet, so probably about five times bigger than my old shop. Um, the What I've got to work on is a couple things. Not enough light down here, as you can kind of tell from this video. Um, you've only got two garden level windows there and a third here. So I've just bought some new 48 inch shop lights from Home Depot, which are I like because they're just the plug type. You don't have to hardwire them in uh, to your electric. So hopefully that'll get me some more light, at least for now. Um, I've got to work on, well, the, I can't do much about it, but the one drawback is I don't have a ton of ceiling height. These are only about seven foot ceilings. Shouldn't actually be a problem for anything, but um, doesn't help in terms of the, you know, you don't have a lot of area to drop a light from or such. And then lastly, I've got to do a lot of work on the electrical. The house is only wired for 100 amps. Uh, probably need to increase that, but also just need to get some more outlets down here so that I can run everything safely. Um, I think I may even, be, the breaker's actually in the garage uh, right over there, but I think I'll even consider putting in a dedicated breaker in this room so that I can keep all my equipment on a sub breaker um, and handle that accordingly. Ideally, I would love to get um, excuse me, the, the house does have 240. Um, ideally, I'd like to be getting some 240 dedicated uh, breakers, perhaps on the higher amperage side to run a MIG wire feed welder or even a beefier air con a compressor or um, ultimately I, I would like to get a bigger mill and I'd like to think that the spindle horsepower I'd be looking at would require at least 240. Um, I may even contemplate a rotary phase converter to get a three-phase system going, but I'd be getting a little ahead of myself right now. Frankly, I'm just excited to be in this space. I uh, want to get it organized and make good use of it. Even though I have a lot more space, I don't want to take that for granted. So off we go. I will post an update here uh, probably a week or two after I've started to get settled in a little more. Thanks, everybody. All right, hi folks. It's uh, about uh, eight hours later. I decided rather than to post the video from this morning, I'd hold off and do some work and um, give a sort of quick first glance at what I'm thinking on the shop. As you can see, it's still a mess. In some ways, it's actually worse. Uh, my, my thought on packing is try to cut open every box. That way you kind of start uh, digging into what makes sense rather than doing one box at a time and stressing over where to put that every little last thing so uh, i got most of my machines in a general position and i'll feel this one out i've moved my workbench over against this wall and conveniently uh, this notch that i previously had cut out for uh, a jut in the room fits those pipes which lets that sit up against there gets my computer next to herbie um, and then i haven't really figured out the way the uh, this wall here is going to work but my thought is that this is going to be sort of an open chip area if you will obviously the atlas mill throws chips everywhere as do the drill presses i'll probably keep the lathe over there too um, so that's well you can see what that is um, the question is uh, what i've been thinking about is what to do with the space you're looking at just because i have this amount of space doesn't mean i want to take it for granted and i think one of the things that I gained from being in New York in a small space is, is how to appreciate that space. And on a side note, uh, aside from the green drill press and a few small things, uh, it's pretty incredible to think that all the stuff you're seeing here was in a about 110 square foot room.
Anyways, one thought I had was to build a similar table to the wood one there and put it right between where I'm standing and the furnace uh, and maybe make it a little bit wider such that I could use the table from both th this side and from the other side and sort of maybe, um, well I haven't exactly figured that out, but I might put mount some bench tools on one side of it and leave the other side as a workspace. Um, I'll feel that one out. For now I've got my electronics table over in this corner, a little bit of a mess, but that's the thought there. And then I think what I might do is I've got a lot of space here that could be, um, will be better utilized. And I think one of my top priorities is to get a MIG welder and I may try to build a um, metal, metal welding table in this area. And on that note, um, please forgive and excuse any sort of uh, cords and such. This, a lot of this is not really safe or appropriate for any sort of a long-term use with this amount of cords dangling around. It's just triage as I sort of get set up. I purchased and mounted those dome lights from Home Depot. Those are great. I'm really happy with those and I think I'll get a few more. And on that note of the of the welding idea, I need to do some research and make sure whatever I do would be safe. Obviously there's a, it's a concrete floor. It's wood above me, but can't imagine um, much risk of anything getting up there. I may want to coat cover that area that I'm welding in just to be safe and not take any unnecessary risks. Um, I've got to figure out um, better storage for tools and equipment. I'm thinking perhaps some type of a pegboard would be great. Um, I also need to figure out what I'm going to use for my uh, inventory and material storage. I'm thinking about building sort of shelves or racking underneath the stairs. That may be a good use of that otherwise somewhat dead space. Um, over here is the laundry. I'm going to try to keep that um, nice and neat and a little bit separate. I've started filling these shelves. They're a bit of a mess now, but they'll get cleaned up. And what I'm thinking is I will, I may enclose this area or semi-enclose it and then keep this sort of quarter of the area my abrasives area, if you will. So grinders, sanders, buffing wheels. Um, I'd like to get a bigger 72 inch belt sander. I, I may also put my punches and presses over here. Uh, we'll see, but just a thought for now. I also haven't figured out where I'm going to put my air compressor and I'd like to get a bigger one but that's not a big pr first priority now so when I do get a bigger one there's a chance I'll put it in the garage which I'll show you in a second and in which case it would be all the more important to run air lines of some sort um, but for now I'll just make do and actually I wanted to show you the garage which I'm going to keep try to keep relatively empty for now but the key thing one of the reasons I really like the house is that the garage provides almost grade level access to the basement. There's about a 10 inch step there, which isn't too bad. Um, so I'm really excited. That makes getting equipment and toys and such in and out much, much easier. That's all folks, much, much more.